What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Today's gonna be a little bit of a different video, but uh, this is a topic that honestly hits home quite a bit for me and something I think we need to talk about and that is Bam Margera, formerly of Jack fame, which is obviously a massive crew of basically stuntmen that have been spanning my whole life pretty much, been a staple of entertainment in my life, and this dude is completely off the rails, out in the deep end, and I don't think he knows how to swim if you catch my drift. So we're going to be getting into the reasons why I think he needs desperate help. I mean, you're going to take one look at my first thing that I'm about to show you and understand that clearly this man is not in a good place. But first, I'm just going to show you this video that sparked my interest in kind of taking a look into Bam's life because I check in you know here and there he's been a pro skater all his life and has now kind of become just a shell of a human i don't know what else to say but check out this clip that he posted of him rapping in a language that he invented while in rehab his most recent stint in rehab i don't know this was number 20 or 30 i've heard about in the past couple of years it feels he's bouncing in and out of these celebrity rehabilitation centers and clearly it's not working because he's spending all his time inventing a freaking made-up language so let's check this out and see just how crazy he is right now I can read it and write it faster than English because I spent 90 days in rehab, bored as hell, and it's just quicker so okay real quick i gotta pause here right away so this language that bam is inventing and i laugh because it's just so ridiculous but truly this is sad and breaks my freaking heart as someone who i wouldn't say worshipped bam margera as a kid like i knew that he was kind of a punk and really was just honestly messing around with everybody around him which is not a good quality to have but he was entertaining and filled up a large portion of my childhood boredom as well as i was always into skateboarding and he did used to freaking shred there's a reason he was a staple in the Tony Hawk games. So it's just sad to see him fall this far, but this is his language that he's called Laskian Strigoi. And apparently he was able to develop his own written and spoken language in just 90 short days in rehab. And what that tells me is clearly he was not using that time wisely, actually trying to rehabilitate himself as the you know title would suggest. He was instead just making up these random graffiti symbols, a lot of which seem to stem from the Element Skate logo that he used to skate for that was his old team. And as well as the heartogram that his favorite band him uses this just doesn't make any sense but he claims that he can definitely write and read this way faster than english so maybe he's on to something and one day we're just all going to be speaking freaking laskian skrigoy however you pronounce that i want myself to be self-medicated i want to be hated i want to do things my way answer to no one except a woman to be my girl i am picky as I won't settle for less, some old <laughs> Rule number one, if you like me, let's cut th We're f <laughs> <laughs> It's Fair easier, enough. man. It's quicker and easier. Hey, when he says he's really doing things his way, he means it. He's not following any sort of meter or structure in this song. He said, you know what? Screw actually rhyming. This is just going to be a slam poem that I write in my last three and strig I can't even pronounce this stupid language. But yeah, so it seems like his most recent attempt at getting rehabilitation was not very successful. But we're going to move on from this weird language and this crappy rapping. I just wanted to show that to you to show just kind of the depths of his insanity right now. He has been absolutely off the rails with, I'm sure, many substances as as well as just drinking his life away pretty much and this stems from the death of his friend Ryan Dunn who I'm sure many of you are familiar with I know this might be a little bit older of a scene now compared to I don't know the demographic of people watching my videos maybe but Ryan Dunn was a fellow member of this jackass crew and was pretty much Bam's best friend and ever since he passed away in a tragic car accident and I don't know like 2008 it feels like it was so long ago I'm sure it was much newer than that but ever since that Bam has been off the rails he is now looking even worse than his father did back in the show who he used to make fun of for being old and fat now he's older and fatter and just looks strung out 24 7 but this is the other clip that i wanted to show y'all because this just goes to show that bam while he is down bad doesn't have any excuses for it and truly everyone has tried as much as they possibly can especially his friends from the jackass crew like steve-o johnny knoxville to try to get him clean and nothing is working so i don't know what's going to be the wake-up call that he needs but just just watch this clip and look at who he blames for his lack of sobriety. This is the saddest freaking clip I've ever seen, bro. Like, what a shell of a man, like I was saying. 
Just to give everybody a valid update about where I'm at, I am visiting a very special lady. I'm not gonna give her name out, but she has helped celebrities like Brian Johnson from ACDC, Steven Tyler, et cetera, on and on and on. Okay, first off, I gotta pause that again. He's almost using who he is going to see for help as like accolades, almost as if it's some prestigious college he just got accepted into. Like, yeah, I'm about to go see the psychotherapist that's actually helped out like five or six pretty huge rock stars getting sober. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I have connections, you know, it's pretty sweet. Like, dude, that's not something to brag about, but I guess it's awesome you're trying to get help. I really think this is all for show and he really just uses this to tell people, hey, I've been trying, I've been in rehab, but instead, you can see him literally just all over the internet making messes wherever he goes, getting kicked out of bars, and clearly none of it's working. But let's watch the rest of this clip so you can see what I'm talking about with his disgusting excuses for not being able to stay clean. But I'm in Florida. I realize that I have the peace and quiet, no offense, Phoenix, but when he hits this certain frequency when he cries, I can't even think straight. It makes me go more bad what Johnny Knoxville and Tremaine made me go through with their stupid contract so for those that don't know he just name dropped his own son and says that his son when he hits a certain frequency of his cries just makes him go absolutely insane you know that is just the biggest loser excuse i could ever think of bro if anything a child coming into this world that is yours should be the biggest wake-up call and that is the number one reason to get clean not the number one reason you can't be this is one of his excuses that come from a line of excuses i mean it's typical narcissistic ad behavior he literally blames everything that's gone wrong in his life on everybody but himself you know he is crazy because you know all this stuff happened I, I think I actually covered a video of Bam being on Dr. Phil's show but it was the same exact thing he told Phil over and over that it was his mom's fault his dad's fault his girlfriend's fault everyone but himself it's like dude you are what now 50 something wake the hell up dude and now we're gonna move on to the big topic and kind of why he's been having these meltdowns more and more often, and that is the new Jackass movie coming out. Now, a lot of you probably know of the Jackass movies. There's been three of them, and the fourth is due at the end of this year. It's absolutely gonna be massive. I'm sure I'm gonna watch it just like 10 times over in theaters. I absolutely love those movies. And he has not been allowed to come back into the crew and actually film with them because he refuses to get clean and is causing messes all around the scene, as well as just being a terrible person to his his co-hosts, or I guess castmates you'd call them. The rest of the crew does not deserve that. If anything, you would expect Steve-O to kind of be in this spot if you were, I don't know, looking 10 years back. But now Steve-O has been clean. He's been kicking butt on YouTube, doing vlogs now. They're sick. Like literally everyone else is a good place except for him. And I think that is one of the main points of insecurity. But when he talks about this contract and the living hell that Jeff Tremaine, who is the creator kind of of Jackass and uh, the producer, and Johnny Knoxville, who is kind of the main guy in the crew, put him through he, he thinks that they're just dragging him through the mud but literally all they're asking him is to be clean during the filming of this movie and if he can't be he's not allowed in and so he he wasn't and now he doesn't get to be in the movie and he's clearly very salty about it let's just go further down the rabbit hole of him being pretty much insane he's not lying about being bad crazy so he posts these random pictures of his notes that he writes i'm not sure why he's not writing in his language you know strigoi apparently is very easily written and read by him but right here he's writing in english thankfully and it almost looks like a freaking basquiat painting of just insanity this is someone who has been dragged through the ringer mentally and is just about to tap out like i am worried for his safety and none of these really make sense. A lot of them are targeted to Jeff Tremaine, who he thinks kind of forced him to ruin his body. But I don't know if he remembers this. He was a professional skateboarder. That's the number one way to ruin your body. You're falling literally down 20 stairs sometimes, bro. Like you can't blame anyone but yourself for that. That is the price you pay when you're a professional skateboarder slash stuntman. And someone actually posted, I think it was TMZ, I'm gonna be showing a little bit of it here, but a lot of it is so nasty that I just don't even wanna show. He sent a long string of text to Jeff Tremaine, again, the original producer and creator of the Jackass Crew slash movie. And in these texts, he's basically threatening Jeff and his family for not allowing him to be in the movie. He's saying things like, when you don't sign that contract, I want you to look at your children, like basically insinuating that his children will not be there if he doesn't sign the contract. And I don't know about you, but I really don't think Bam 
Sam Margera is out here having shooters, bro. He's not in a gang or anything. Like, literally, this dude is just stumbling to and from the bar every day, unable to speak English, trying to half acidly speak Lingian Strigoi. Again, I still cannot pronounce his stupid language. Just pretty much everything about him is unpleasant, and it looks like he's pushing away anybody that wants to give him help. I mean, I even see on his Instagram before he deletes his posts in a couple hours when he realizes, probably somewhat sober, that he shouldn't have said what he said, that almost everybody from the Jackass crew is constantly hitting him up in the comments saying, dude, please answer our DMs. We're trying to get you help. I've gotten help. Like, all of them have been in the spot he's in before, or a couple of them at least, especially Steve-O. And like I said, look at where he is now. He's doing absolutely great, and Bam should honestly see that as an inspiring point, but instead, he just gets salty about it. Like, oh, you guys are losers for being clean. I thought we were like the party crew, bro. Like, no, everyone grew up, and they realized their success would not exist unless they got clean as well. There's other various things that I've found. A lot of this stuff that I'm showing you is from a subreddit that I implore you to visit if you are like me and have an interest in Bam's life and keeping up with him. Because again, like I said, as a child, I really did watch pretty much all the content surrounding him. I watched a ton of Viva La Bam on MTV as a kid, and it's just so sad to see him go down this path. But this is some screenshots of someone on Facebook saying, my friend literally just saw Bam two days ago at 8 a.m. outside of a gas station in Sarasota, drinking a case of White Claws barefoot, looking like a straight up bum. And then he actually shows photo proof, and this is Bam sitting here dressed in all black like a ninja, just barefoot. I don't know why he's sitting in front of this gas station drinking White Claws barefoot, but obviously he's down bad. And you want further proof of that? He told his friend while he took the photo that he was on his way to see a Yellow Wolf concert. I mean, go ahead and make fun of me for saying this, but I think that's the most egregious thing he's done in this so far. Yeah, threatening Jeff Tremaine's children was bad, but going to see a Yellow Wolf concert? You really are a menace to society, bro. What are you doing? Yeah. And there's also photos of him just crashing people's parties, being a mess. Apparently, he goes to parties all the time, thrashes their house because he thinks it's a set of one of his shows, and he's having flashbacks to when he actually had clout and was about half his weight, and then just kind of leaves or gets kicked out. And I guess I'm kind of just spiraling here in this constant loop of talking about how bad his life is, but really, like I said, it is dire, and I'm worried that during the release of this movie, especially if it does incredibly well, he keeps calling it Jack Flop 4, thinking that, you know, it's just gonna flop, but obviously it's probably going to be a hit, especially considering many people are going to be starting to go to the movie theaters again and loving the theater experience. And this is just a return of a massive franchise that already breaks records every time they release a movie. So I am worried when this comes out that we could see something very dangerous happening to Bam, especially if he doesn't get a hold on this. It seems like his wife is enabling him. You know, apparently his kid is the reason he can't stay sober. And I don't think he has a good relationship with his parents who are probably trying to desperately get him on track. So so things are not looking very good for Bam. I, I guess, I mean, there's always hope for the future, but seeing his track record right now, it looks like he is a lost cause and that honestly breaks my heart. But I'm interested to know what y'all think. I mean, were you aware of Bam Margera before even? If you didn't know who he was, you might just think he was a loser, but seeing where he was at one point in pop culture and just as a person to where he is now, that is not the same person if you ask me. That about does it for today's video. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, peace out.